Hello everyone, welcome back and today we are looking at question 11 which is container with most water. So the question is saying we are given n vertical lines each one with different height and we want to calculate the maximum area between any two lines. In a way we want to find the two lines that give us the maximum area to hold the maximum amount of water. Alright, so let's look at example 1. So example one is saying we are given an array called height. It is containing nine values. Each one of those corresponds to the height of a line. For instance, at index zero, we see the value one. So we go at index zero, we see we have a line with height one. If we go in the array at index one, we see we have the value eight. If we go to index one, we see we have this red line and its height is eight. So each one of those values corresponds to the height of a line. Now, they are saying that the output is 49, indicating that the maximum area we can get is 49. So how did we get this? Well, they are saying that we are having these two red lines and they are drawing a rectangle with water covering this area right here. Well, they are saying the output is 49 because the width of this rectangle is what? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the width is seven and the height they are saying that, let's look at the height, the height is seven. So seven times seven gives you 49. So this is the maximum area they got. So how did they get this value? We will see. Okay, so let's get started. Now, since we are looking at the area of a rectangle, let's have a rectangle right here and we want the area. Now, anytime you want to see the area of a rectangle, what do we do normally? Well, we have a width and we have a height. We want to multiply the width times the height. In example one, the width was seven and the height was also seven. So seven times seven is 49. Now, in the example, they are saying we have these two red lines indicating, okay, we have a left pointer right here and we have a right pointer right here. Now, how do we calculate the width of these two lines? Well, they said the width is seven or in other way, we can say the right pointer is at index eight and the left pointer is at index one. So eight minus one gives you seven. So if you want to calculate the width, well, the width is equal to the right pointer minus the left pointer. This is how you calculate the width. Now, how do we calculate the height? Well, now the height we need to be careful about. Look at this. We said the width is seven. Okay, no problem. We have width of seven. Now let's see what is the height. Well, we have two options. The two lines have different heights. So we can go up to here or we can go up to here. Well, which one do we choose? Well, we see that they chose the shorter lines. Why? Well, the area between any two lines is always limited by the shorter line. Okay. Now, why is that? Let's imagine if we have a pot of water right here that we are pouring into this container. Now, the water will keep rising until we reach a certain point. Now, what is that point? Well, that point is here. Once we reach this point, we have the maximum amount of water. Why? Well, because if we went higher than this point, let's say we are here, anything here will be pouring outside of the container, right? Because we have this wall and we are above this wall. So anything higher than this will go outside. There is no point of going here because all of this will be falling down. So that's why the area is always limited by the shorter line. So when you want to see the height, when you want to multiply the width times the height, well, for the height, you always take the minimum between height of left and height of right. So you're going to take the minimum between height of left and height of right, because height of left pointer gives you the height of the line pointed to by the left pointer. 
and height of right gives you the height of the line pointing to by the right pointer okay so let's put these together let me delete this rectangle right here and let me take this and we said okay the area equals the width times the height we said to calculate the width we take the right pointer minus the left pointer this will give you the width and now we want the height so it times and now what is the height well we said we need to take the minimum between the right line and left line because the area is always limited by the shorter one okay good so now this equation gives you the area of one rectangle but is that what we want well the question wants the maximum area we can get between any two lines so a brute force approach would be something like the following we will see the areas between all the combination of two lines so we will calculate the area between these two lines or between these two lines or between these two lines or between this and that or this and that etc but this way is so slow we need nested for loops to calculate all those possible combinations the time complexity is big o of n squared it has to be a way faster than this and of course there is now how do we do that to have the maximum area well one we need a variable to hold the maximum area so let's say hey we need a variable to hold the maximum area and this initial will be zero because zero is the smallest area we can get right now let's look at example one on how they did it they had a left pointer here and a right pointer here we will be using the same thing but now we will start from the beginning of the array and the end of the array we have a left pointer here we have a right pointer here well why do we start at the um, end and the start of the array well because if we have rectangle and we want to maximize the area well if the width gets bigger well the area will also get bigger right so the maximum width would be from the start of the array to the end of the array now this might be the answer or might not be the answer depends on the height but we don't know we will give ourselves a chance and we will start from the start of the array and the end of the array to check this width right here so let's calculate the area right now we said the area is the width times the height the width is right minus left what is the right is eight now minus what is the left is zero so eight minus zero is eight that's the width times now what is the minimum between these two lines so this line has a height of seven and this line has a height of one now what is the minimum of them is one so eight times one equals eight so now these two lines give us a maximum area of eight now we compare our maximum area so far is zero but now we got a maximum area of eight which is greater eight or zero well of course it's eight so we update this zero and now we have an eight so do you see what we just did we compared the maximum area that we have so far with the area that we just calculated using this equation well this is the key for the problem so we don't want the area we said we want the maximum area and we said we want to update the maximum area each time we calculate a new area now how did we do that well we said we will take the maximum between our maximum area so far here, here we have max area with the area of the rectangle that we just calculated so now our old maximum area was zero we calculated a new one with eight eight is greater than zero we took the maximum which is eight and we updated our maximum area so let's continue so now we have a maximum area of eight now what well we said we don't want to calculate all possible combinations of areas because that this will take big o of n squared time so now do we need to increment this pointer or do we need to decrement that pointer what should we do well let's see we said that the area is always limited by the shorter line so this short line is limiting our potential right so now let's see if we can find a longer line 
right now so basically if the left line is shorter than the right line we will be incrementing our left pointer now if the right line is shorter we will be decrementing the right pointer in a sense the shorter line we don't want that we want to see if we can get a longer line we might get one we might not but we want to take our chances so here which is shorter the left line or the right line well the left line is shorter so we will be incrementing this pointer to here now we go again what is the area of here well we said right minus left eight minus one gives you seven times what is the minimum between these two lines well this line has a height of seven this line has a height of eight what is the minimum the minimum is seven seven times seven equals 49 and this is how they got their 49 now we compare take the maximum between the maximum area that we have so far which is eight and the one that we just calculated which is 49 so we need to update the 8 with 49 so this is the approach all right um, we need to calculate the area of the rectangle compare it with the maximum area that we have so far take the maximum between them and now we need to update the pointers if the height of left is less than height of right which means that the left line is shorter well we don't want that we want to check if we see a longer line we need to increment the left else we need to decrement the right because here we increment here we decrement and this is and this is it let's go and code the solution out we will be doing the same exact thing okay so here we are on lead code so let's get started we said we need a maximum area variable to hold the maximum area and we said the smallest thing we can get is zero now we said we need a left pointer and a right pointer so int left equals zero and now we said we int right equals well we need to be at the end of the array which means height dot length minus one so we have a left pointer we have a right pointer and we have the maximum area now while while what well we need to keep looping until the left and the right crosses each other again we said we will start the left here the right there we will calculate the area compared with our maximum area then we update the pointers here the left pointer is shorter so we increment it now we compare these two we see that this right is shorter we decrement it at some point these two pointers will cross each other and at that point we know that we checked all the choices we need to check so while left is less than right we need to keep looping now what well we know the formula we said the maximum area is basically the maximum between two things so math dot max we need to compare the maximum area that we have so far with the area of the rectangle that we will calculate now we said that hey we will take the width which is the right pointer minus the left pointer times we need to take the minimum of the heights between the two math dot min height of left and height of right so height of left comma height of right so here we are taking the width times the height for the height we are picking the minimum of the two lines then this value will be compared with the maximum area that we have so far we will take the maximum between those and we will update our maximum area now once we do that we said we need to update the pointers so we said hey if the height of the left is less than the height of the right well we need to increment the left because we might have a longer line down the road so we said left plus plus and we said else well we need to you know decrement the right right minus minus and that's it at the end we just return the maximum area so now let's run the code okay and here we go so now let's look at the time and space complexity right well we see that we have constant space we did not use any extra space so the space is big o of one 
But now what is the time complexity? Well, we said we will keep looping until the left is less than the right. And at that point, we would have checked all the lines once. So if we have n lines, the time complexity is big O of n. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Best of luck to you, and I will see you in the next one.